uh, what do you think is the media's role? You write extensively on corruption. I've seen uh, your Twitter page and most of your columns are about corruption in the India story. Do you think the media has a role in that space or it just reports what it sees? It has an active role, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it has a role that is not playing. Which is? Which is that it should really be doing the stories instead of waiting for somebody else to find out about corruption and then getting that leaked to them. So for instance, at the height of the Anna Hazare uh, movement, which was against corruption, um, I was very unhappy that for a start they didn't question either him uh, his program, where he was going to go with it, and the people around him. You know, now that you, you might say that they did those exposés on uh, the Bhushans, etc. But that's not what I'm talking about. Um, I haven't seen a really good uh, piece of investigative journalism in many, many years now. It's always just something that someone has said or someone's leaked to them. And I think that that's where they're failing. So other than not investigating, yeah. uh, there being no investigative pieces, do you think that the Indian media is seriously lacking in any other areas as well? I mean, just, just no investigative pieces or the tone and tenor of reportage, the engagement with power? Uh, well, I think you've asked me about three questions in one. Um, I have been very worried, and I've written about this often, about the immaturity that you see, particularly in the news channels, uh, in their manner of uh, asking questions, one. Um, for instance, I was very worried at the, uh, the way that a particular, I suppose I don't suppose I should name any names. You can name names on yeah, this, right. let me name names. I'll tell you, I may as well, because I actually tweeted about it. Yeah. The way that Arnab Goswami interviewed Omar Abdullah when the national conference worker died in his garden, mm -hmm. right? Now, uh, he assumed that Omar was guilty to proven innocent. Mm -hmm. And you see too much of that on television. And Arnab's tone with him was that of an inquisitor, not of a journalist. You know, it was, but what were you doing at this point and what were you doing? You know, this wasn't a court of law. If it was a journalistic exercise, Umar Abdullah um, would have been given a much better chance to explain why the worker died and what the problems were. And it turns out... And you, and, and, sorry, but you think that problem is consistent when their tone is the same with, say, uh, Team Anna, because that seems to be... Favorite frame of reference of yours for, for it's most things? It's not my things. favorite. I, I think that even with Lalit Modi, mm -hmm. um, maybe Lalit Modi is a Full cook. disclosure, I'm an uh, uh, active supporter and a part of Team Anna. So just full disclosure, I'm, I'm yeah, giving yeah, you. Yeah. I'm okay. not a, an objective or a neutral party here. Oh, well, you don't mm -hmm. have to be. I mean, you're perfectly mm -hmm. entitled to your sure. um, mm -hmm. views, uh, as I am to mine. But it isn't just about Team Anna. In the case of Lalit Modi, if you paid attention to the manner in which he was completely reviled without being given any chance by the media to explain himself, to the point that the income tax raid on his premises, the media accompanied the tax raiders. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, that is, you know, I mean, that means the media is being used as a tool by agencies of uh, the police. You know, so I find that very worrying. And it wasn't just him. I've seen any number of instances where because we haven't really got uh, the possibility, we've got quite a strong libel law, but Indian, the justice system takes so long that I think that, you know, that journalists are getting away with murder. You think that's restricted uh, to just political ends or you think that extends in other departments, for example, the corporates? Cause because you seem to be um, of the view that the only people who have done anything of consequence in India, the growth story, are big business and corporate houses, which I'm sure they have. But you think they use the media too? When I'm sure they do. Could? And you think there's full disclosure on that end usually? I don't think who? there is. And again, I don't want to name any names because I don't want to be you sued for libel. But no, names. no, there, is, there, there have to be certain. There are um, certain media houses uh, which are owned by um, certain big businessmen. Mm -hmm. And those businessmen are then given awards at, you know, the big businessman of the year type award. 
without any dis disclosure of, of vested interest. So I think that, uh, that it's just as bad if that happens.